Guys, it's finally here. The Modern Warfare 3 reveal event has finally landed inside Warzone. It's called Shadow Siege, and there's a bunch of stuff that you can unlock with this. There's a vehicle skin, an emblem, calling cards, charms, and everything, but that's not what I'm interested in today. If you've been following along with anything to do with Call of Duty recently, you will have seen teasers for zombies. That's right, guys. It's back. Zombies is back inside Call of Duty. So today, we're hopping into the... Modern Warfare 3 reveal in the hopes of seeing something related to zombies inside the reveal. It's a long shot, but I love long shots. We're going for it. All shadows, this is Gold Eagle Actual. Welcome to Operation Rogue Arsenal. Russian paramilitary known as the Coney Group are manufacturing and stockpiling chemical weapons posing a direct threat to global security. Your tasking is to destroy their facility and secure the chemical weapons cache. Nova 6. On this is it going to be Nova 6? Graves! Thank you, General. This is an airborne to ground assault on the Coney occupied Zaya Observatory. Intel reports a subterranean level is currently hiding an arsenal of chemical munitions big enough to take out the Middle East and Europe. That's Our a lot. Our primary objective is to keep that from happening. Yes, sir. We do that in four phases. The first of which will be to infill from the air. The target's currently defended by active SAM sites. Our planes will be taking direct fire, so expect a bumpy ride. From the offset LZs, all shadows will mobilize to your first objective. One of eight enemy missile launchers located around the perimeter of the observatory. You will take over your assigned launcher and on my mark, initiate a focused fire attack, destroying Zaya and blasting ourselves one colossal entry point into that underground complex. Oh, this is sick. Once inside, you will locate the chemicals, collect as many canisters as you can, and double time to an extract point where you will expel your cargo and yourselves. This will not be a walk in the park. But high risk is high reward. <laughs> oh, this is sick. With you on comms. Now, are we good to get some? Yeah. Say we good to get some. Yeah. All right, let's get locked and loaded. Oh, this looks sick. Oh, we're just straight in. All right, they've pinged that one. We're on it, chat. This is it. Welcome in. This is sick. Welcome into the Modern Warfare 3 reveal. This is sick. Let me land here. So I'm a sniper, so. Yo, who's firing at me, bro? Get out of here, bro. Oh, I almost had five shots, five kills then. Oh, that was sick. Right, let's play up. I don't play a lot of Warzone, so this is really fucking cool. This is really fucking cool. Yo, look at this! Oh, there's a lot of them coming. Hold on. Okay, my team's on the ball. This is so cool, man. Yo, what is that? Yo, what is that? Get a drop here. I can't play this. Da 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 da. Can I get out, please? I can't play this. Yo! Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Okay. I couldn't play that because that was a Snoop Dogg song. Um, we are off. We are on the way to capture further missile sites, hopefully. Oh, man. I'm so excited to finally have a look at what the new zombies could be, right? Because, like... Oh, come on. I'm really hoping that the new zombies... Tag will be um, something really good. 
because yeah, it's not the Treyarch installment of zombies, admittedly, but at the same time, this is the brand new form of zombies. And from the leaks, from what I've heard, it's a type, it's, let's go, it's a type of outbreak. It's the evolution of outbreak. I need to get up here so I can see this, man. Have they fired? Yo! Yo! Oh, the observatory is so screwed. <laughs> it killed our teammate! <laughs> He was at the observatory. What a mug. Ah! Uh. The order is parachute straight in the gap like that. Let's go. Oh, this is so cool, chat. This is so cool. I when Call of Duty reviewers actually work. I really enjoy playing them. Yo, look at all these players! Where are all the gas canisters, man? There's one. Okay, we got one. Oh, we're now in third person. Okay. Okay. That's one. Come here, there. Just, just part, yeah, just get out. Like, he's down here, I think. Yeah, I'll do this. Oh! Wait, I got a self rise, it's fine. In here? Oh, here, here. Over here. Over here. Oh, I'm done, I'm done. There's an next field that way. Oh, but you can take some spot. Let me res this dude. Oh, oh, no way! I'm hoping this will get me out of the radiation as well. I'm about to lose my mask. You're in third person! Yeah, he changes to third person more. I know you can, but it's just why would you pick to be in it? No, I didn't pick to be in it. Oh, sweet, sweet. Hey, 60 meters. Put it in there. Yeah, I'm good. I'm out of here, bro. This is so cool. So the objective is to exfil 45 gas canisters. That's that's the goal, right? Oh come on! How? Coming down. Oh no! I'm just trying not to die. Oh we go, we go, get there, get there, quick, 50 seconds. Yeah, go, go. Ah, we're out of here, chat. Oh shit, jumps. <laughs> Me ascend. Go, 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 go. We're out of here, chat. Let's go. Oh, I see. It's just that side. Just that side. Yeah, I know, I know. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get gas mask in there as well. Oh, beautiful work. Beautiful work. Let's redo our plates. We did it, chat! We got the canisters and we're out! I think we got two or three canisters. I can't remember the exact number. <laughs> Which one's gonna get blown up? Fuck. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go! We're out of here, we're out of here! Oh, you got lucky there. Oh, this was so cool. This was so cool. Mission accomplished! Whoa! Crimson sound unlocked. You gotta do this like ten times. Oh, well, that's armor. oh, that is so cool. I oh, love you that. Can get my armor on the fucking thing. Oh, no. Yo, the whole thing just blew up. Genesis in the drum. All gas secure.
Hey, who are you talking to? What a surprise! Treachery! No Russian! I knew that was coming. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. We need to roll under the radar to get this done. Let's make sure they don't see the sunrise. That was sick. Is this gameplay? We need to know if he's working with Moscow. We're in position. Let's go to work, Bravo. I was hoping we'd be able to play this. Somewhere. I think that was from the first reveal. This is devastation on a global scale. We have two missiles incoming. If you are there, get out. It's killing civilians. Visual on target. We need men back now! He wants a world war. 3D printed gun. Okay! So that is Modern Warfare 3. Edition, get the Nemesis Operator Pack and the Fate Weapon Vaults, the Season 1 Black Cell Bundle with 50 tier skips, and more. Okay, so this is all campaign and multiplayer stuff. I was hoping for something related to zombies. I'm guessing not. Okay, because there was nothing in the reveal trailer for Modern Warfare 3 that showed anything to do with zombies, we're gonna spin around, have a look on the computer to check and see what there has been confirmed for zombies. Okay, so I've gone ahead and collated as much information as I possibly can from online about what we get with Modern Warfare zombies. So the first thing that we have here is this page, which is the official Call of Duty website. And it says, for the first time, Team up with other squads to survive and fight massive hordes of the undead in the largest Call of Duty Zombies map ever. Modern Warfare Zombies, MWZ, like DMZ, tells a new Treyarch zombie story with missions, core zombies features, and secrets to discover. Ready up for an open world PvE survival experience against some of the biggest enemies in Call of Duty history. And we get this amazing photo here, and we'll come back to that in a minute because I'll be able to look at that on Twitter. So we, I've gone, we've gone across to x.com because that's what it's called now for some reason. And we have this. This is um, the picture that I'm going to look into in a moment. Uh, Mr. Dalek JD did an amazing video detailing exactly what is happening with Call of Duty Zombies. So if you're interested in that, hit that eye up there and go and watch that. Or the link will be in the description if that one doesn't work. So we have a new open world experience on the largest map in Zombies history. So the way this is working is there are up to 24 players in one match. So you can have up to six players per squad, which is huge. So you have up to six players per squad. And it's an extraction based survival experience. We'll come back to the picture in a moment. Um, so you can see here you have 60 minute sessions before you are forced to exfiltrate, which is the same thing that happened with DMZ. So in terms of what is happening with zombies on Modern Warfare 3, it is a, a hybrid between Outbreak and DMZ. You will infill on the outside area of the map and the difficulty of the zombies and their strength, their health increases the further in you get. And that is related to the story, which we'll go back to over here, which says, a mercenary group called Terminus Outcomes, which we'll come back to, has stolen the last known quantities of Ethereum and want to weaponize it. 
Using one of the vials to escape, they create an incursion in this area as zombies begin to infect and spread across the region. You're part of Operation Deadbolt, being sent in to both contain that incursion and also stop Terminus outcomes from harvesting resources to further weaponize the Ethereum. So, what we have here with the new zombies experience, it is going to be both AI human enemies, which is this Terminus Outcomes group, as well as uh, zombies on the map as per usual. So the, this center of the map is where this vial was detonated and the incursion happens here. So the further out it is, the weaker it is. And you'll be doing objectives similar to DMZ. There's, a, uh, there's an objective window with operators that speak to you, much like we had in Cold War. We had Maxis, we had um dr peck all of those people that would speak to us and give us objectives for what to do with the easter eggs so this is a 60 minute x fill based game mode there's a hybrid between outbreak and dmz this is the new zombies experience that we're getting and there's a there's cinematic story as part of this as in this treyarch's zombie storyline so i imagine they're going to be tying this in directly with call of duty 2024 we won't know until we play this. There's buy stations, wall buys, mystery box, pack a punch, everything you could imagine that is part of the core zombies experience. On top of this, there are specific elements that will be present in this that are completely new. One of the first new things that's part of this new zombies experience is something called acquisitions. So this is stuff that you can find in the map. Similar to when you find stuff that you can use in DMZ, now in the world you will find weapon cases and perk cans and things like that that you can use. But you don't use it immediately when you pick it up. This is why they're called acquisitions. You can take this weapon case or this, this perk can, exfil with it, and then you can start the next game with these items in your inventory. So you could exfil with one of the each of the perk cans. And the next time you come in, you could just pop them and you have perkaholic before you've even left the infill site. How crazy is that? And these weapon cases apply with the same rules. This is what the acquisitions thing is. So this is something absolutely crazy. This I cannot wait to see people speed run. What uh, whatever the, the objectives are. I cannot wait to see people speed run because they can set this up games in advance and just start with anything they could possibly need. The second new thing that's part of the new zombies experience is something called schematics. You can find these all throughout the map, all throughout the zombies experience, and you can exfil with these. And then you permanently have the ability to craft this weapon in the menu, to infill with this weapon every game. There is a cooldown on how many times you can... There is a cooldown on the crafting ability. But other than that, you can craft it and start with it. So what this means with acquisitions and schematics, you could go in with a crafted wonder weapon, a crafted ray gun, and all of these perk cans. And you could start with a, with a ray gun and perkaholic. How insane is that? And the way it works is there will be objectives for you to complete as you progress through the game. Um, as you get through them, there will be individual ones. It will take you away from this massive map to a much smaller map that you can then do this objective where you will be given cinematics and it will be a much more refined experience so that Treyarch can get the story across. From what I've been able to gather, that is extremely important to Treyarch this, this time around. So whatever story they're going to be pushing with Modern Warfare 3, it is absolutely going to directly tie into the next game, which I am so excited to see. I am so, so excited to find out what is going on in the next game. Let's go back and have another look at this picture. This is the only photo so far that has been released showing Modern Warfare zombies. So over here, you can see... Is it going to let me zoom? Does Twitter let me zoom? I, it, it's bugging. It's bugging. Over here... You can see this sign. Anyone that has played zombies will know this is Burger Town. The zombies themselves, they do look pretty cool. It's the yellow eyes again. So I don't know who the Archon is this time. But the yellow eyes make a return. And we have this new design for the Mimic. How cool is that? The Mimic makes a return. I love the Mimic. It's got like these skulls all over it. Like... How am I going to go that way? There we go. It's got skulls on the top. I'm not entirely sure what that's about. It's got the blue mouth as always. Similar running animation. But it looks to be 
a very individual zombies experience. There's this new thing called the ether storm, which is basically similar to the radiation from DMZ. To push you out of the map after 60 minutes, you have to exfil before then. And it's, it's looking really good. It's looking to shape up to be a really individual zombies experience. And there's absolutely no way we can know how good this is going to be until we get to it. So I, I'm normally one of those people that says to not get their hopes up. But I have my hopes up. I genuinely have my hopes up. And if, if, if my hopes get ruined again, like they did with Vanguard, I swear I will lose my mind. But yeah, this is everything that I know so far about the new Zombies experience. And I am so looking forward to playing this. A lot of people are having negative. The only thing I'm not keen on is being forced to exfil after 60 minutes. But at the same time, this gives you a sense of urgency. You can't just wander around. But this is the biggest Zombies experience to date. This is the biggest one they have ever put out. This is from their own words. So I am so looking forward to playing this mode. I'm going to buy this on PC, whether mine can run it or not. We'll be streaming it. We'll be playing it. We'll be checking out all of these individual places that we can go. Because I really, really, really want to find out what is in this map. If Treyarch is giving us this massive map with objectives to do, you can guarantee, you can guarantee there is going to be a million different secrets to find. So if you're interested in seeing what is going on, if you're interested in being part of this journey of learning with me here about what's going on, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You've probably seen it popping up here a few times. I'm recording on OBS just so I can speed this up. So if you want to be part of this, you know what to do. Press subscribe. Be part of this journey with us. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you in Modern Warfare 3.